Hello, it's Denise, running away from home. Everybody loves that name. That's the name I use for my channel here and for when I'm in chats and stuff and running away from home. And they seem to really like it. And what does it mean? What it means is when I first decided to do this, and I did this because Marcy asked me to make some videos for her or, or she wanted me to record for her some advice, some like mom stuff kind of is the way I recall it, just advice kind of stuff. And I said, well, you know, I could record that. And then I said to her, well, you know, I could make a channel and then you could find it and you could see it anytime you wanted. You know, and you'd never lose it. As long as you had access to the internet, there it'd be. So that that's what I that's how it started. And then it morphed into becoming something for Jason, Joshua, and Christopher, and I don't know where the ding dang camera is. Well, it must be that thing right there. <laughs> I'm alone. Today is the twenty third of August, twenty twenty two. Yes, I am looking at the bottom screen of my computer. It's 10.26 p.m. Bruce has gone fishing to the Saginaw Bay with two of his friends who took him so he didn't have to drive, which turned out to be a good thing because they were, Bruce and Christopher were trying to fix Christopher's car and ended up making it undrivable. Oh, bless your heart. So his friends were coming to pick Bruce up anyway to take him. He wasn't going to have to drive because he's got the loaner from the car shop that's fixing his truck. And so he let Christopher take his loaner because Chris has to go to work tomorrow. He's got six kids to support. He's a, he's a man that's got to have a plan. And uh, Bruce will not be home until Thursday night. And I said, oh, I didn't tell you that today is Tuesday. Today I had um, Lisa, my CN hospice CNA, help me with my shower. Oh, my gosh. I do not realize how much she does for me for my shower until I do it for myself like I did on Sunday and the Sunday before that. Oh, man. Is that what it is? I don't know. Is that what it's like for rich people? Who can have people take care of them if they need it or if they want it? Or, like, people who go to spas? Hmm. I will never know. Not in this life. I'm sorry. There's no no place to put this um, phone so that I don't have to hold it. <laughs> and I'm tired. It's 1027. I did only take my core egg. I still have to take the Advan and the Tylenol PM. But we're not taking any... <laughs> uh, we're not taking any stool softeners. We're going a day without. But I did have to take some morphine at about 7 o'clock because today has been a hard day breathing. And I, I have not been down here. I have not been down here that much smoking. She lied to herself and everybody else. Uh, if, a, if I have been down here less, it's been incremental. I can't say the word that's in my head. That, that makes me look smart. Incre increment. Incrementally. Ooh, maybe I did it. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll sure be glad when I could get a computer with the camera on it so I can just up, you know, I don't have to upload every video. I don't have to upload this one, but it just feels good. Mm. I just remembered I have subscribers. I appreciate you. I appreciate whatever it is that your intention is because it feels like your intention is good.
And I don't want you to get offended if I pretend you're not there. I'm talking to Chris. He gets notified every time I put up a video. Sometimes he even watches them. Most times he doesn't. And that's okay. I think I have always said, there are many things I've always said. One of them is, I make a much better memory than a reality. <laughs> Everybody loves me when I'm gone out of their lives. That's okay. That's all right. Of course it's not. People like to be appreciated while they're here. And I believe that's why when I appreciate someone, I show them, I tell them, I, I mean it. It's sincere. If I appreciate you, I appreciate you. But anyway, Bruce isn't here, so I'm free. Yes, I am. And I'm going to title this one, We Are Stardust. Because aren't we? Aren't we something different? I heard somebody say that we're the only beings alive on the planet that have feelings. And and I wanted to jump right in the middle and say, oh, no, that's not true. Because I will never forget when I ran over Keeley's puppy. Keeley was my German shepherd. I have had two dogs. Two dogs in my life that were beyond that. One of them I was too early to have. And so didn't recognize it for what it was. And then Keeley. Keeley was a German Shepherd who just loved me unconditionally and would sleep under my window. <laughs> under the window of my bedroom. Where my bed was against the window. To the side. It wasn't against that window. She, she didn't sleep at the end of the... We lived in a 12 by 60 trailer. It was built in the 70s, early 70s. <laughs> oh yeah, on 10 acres of land with a creek running through it, which is where I am now. Bruce's dad gave it to us for a dollar and we didn't even have to pay him a dollar. We used that to get the well put in, the electricity brought in, the septic and, and drain field. Oh my gosh. and the and we put a house trailer there. The trailer cost $6,500 back in 1981 or 82. I'm tired of holding the bone. Anyway, and that's where we raised our boys. That's where we lived when I went to college and became a nurse. Became a nurse in 87 and we moved into this trailer in 95, and I left my husband in 97. 10 years after I became a nurse. Because I told him, I told him, because I was always leaving him, because he can be so mean. Bruce Eugene, he can be so mean sometimes. So negative, so bitter, it just hurts. It hurts me when he's like that. It doesn't even have to be towards me, towards anybody. And the, okay, stop. He's gone. He's with his friends. He asked me for permission to let him go. And I said, of course you can go. Of course. And he's with his friends, and he's relaxed, and he's happy, and he doesn't have to worry about me. But I'm worried about him. I'm worried about him, and I need to convince him to go to the doctor. And he doesn't want to go because he's so tight. -fisted. <laughs> we had a barbecue with Christopher and Chastity yet last night. Last night being Monday night, they came over. Chris came from work, and Chastity came from Big Rapids with all the kids, and they all got together here, and we had a barbecue. 
Ruth burned the hell right out of the hamburgers. The hot dogs were un inedible. <laughs> they were inedible. But Bruce ate them. There was, there was a lot left over. There were four left over out of an eight pack. There were half of them left over. <laughs> and he ate them. They were chicken franks. There's no need for him to buy chicken franks because, because, but he's worried about money. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand that because I'm just open handed, much to my own chagrin. I'm open handed sometimes in ways that hurt me. Um, but it doesn't feel like a burden. You know, how do I feel about it, though? I love being able to, to have money to give. And I'm very glad I didn't buy all those socks I wanted to buy. Because <laughs> things came up this month. And payday, as my dad used to say, the eagle doesn't shit <laughs> until the 9th of September. Lots of things come out at the beginning of the month. Excuse me. Anyway, we are stardust. We are magic. People are magic. People just need to open up. Open up. Why are you so fear driven? Driven by fear. Here's the way I, I've handled that. That has worked for me. If there is something that I'm afraid of, some event I'm afraid of, or some object I'm afraid of, something I'm afraid of, I make a plan of what I would do if it happened. If I was confronted with, with whatever that fear was, what would I do? And then once I have a plan, I forget it. Not the plan, I don't forget the plan. <laughs> but I forget the fear. Because I know what I'll do. And I'm one of those people who, if she doesn't have the right tool, find something to be the right tool. If that makes sense. I'm a kind of a MacGyver guy. Although, girl, although I never really watched MacGyver. Many of the people around me loved it and would tell me about it. And I saw bits and pieces before I would turn off you know, turn the channel. It just didn't interest me. Because I do that all the time, not to that dramatic attempt. I'm wandering. I'm sorry. I'm flushed with freedom. <laughs> I love it when I don't have to be quiet. I love it when I can do it when at the time I want. But this is not my home. And when you share a home with someone, you are respectful to what they need. I will. I will put Bruce first. In many instances. In many ways. What do you say? What do you say about someone you've loved since you were 17? I always loved him more than he loved me. But now he knows that he loves me. <laughs> because it's becoming the end of me. And I just realized today that every time I tried to explain Vicky to him and why he should have grace towards her, I tell him, I said, she lost the love of her entire life right in front of her at the dinner table. So you cut her some slack for quite a while because that had to be horrid. I forgive her everything. Everything. There's nothing to forgive her for. Well, I want to talk to her though. Vicky, I want to tell you, you'll never make Bruce's family and Daryl's family, Bruce's brother who Dar Vicky was married to, you'll never make them into your family. They will never react 
or respond or be your family, the way you, the family you grew up in. That's why you don't understand them. Just accept that and do the best you can to just let it be. You just send love out to them and you don't poke them. <laughs> you just don't poke them. You get everything settled. Anyway, I think she and Bruce talk about me more than I would like. Bruce talks about me to people <laughs> more than I would like. I do not like that all of the neighbors know. I do not like that all of his family knows. I do not like that <laughs> people I don't know know about the hospice thing. I don't, I don't want, that's not, no. No, 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 no. I... I just have to do what I have to do the way I have to do it. And I have to... I have to make myself small. And when I make myself small to fit... I always feel like I lose a little bit of me. And I've been making myself small for a very long time. You know, five brothers, three sons, a male chauvinist pig for a husband, a misogynist, bless his heart. He just doesn't know better. But he could know better, but he doesn't want to know better. Anyway, that was an interesting noise. What was that? Oh, come, come and I've got no money. I'm so sorry. I do have four dollars in my wallet. You help yourself, but I can't give you the numbers for my my debit card because if you drain that and don't kill me. I'm going to be hurting worse than if you had. I'm being crazy now. Anyway. <laughs> Denise. Unscripted and alive. Hmm. Had a wonderful time with Christopher's family yesterday. But Gracie. You have to be careful. She works at Meyer as a cashier, and she says, people are really mean. There are some people that are really, really mean. Tell her that she should kill herself. Tell her she looks like a slut, and nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing. Grace is modest. It's her religious upbringing. But people are, people are mean, and men... She makes men mad. <sighs> but she's 20. She's 20 and she's beautiful. And the world is her oyster. And she has no... No comprehension of what... Consequences being mean to men can bring. We know, don't we, women? Some of us know, some of us don't. No judgment here. God bless you either way. Anyway, I'm boring myself and I hate doing that. Bye.